Hey guys, welcome to the 108th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the track bar control and the numeric up down control. The first control that we're going to be looking at is the track bar control. So just go into your toolbox and drag a track bar control onto your form. You're also going to need to have a button, so just make sure you have that as well. The first property that we're going to be looking at is the maximum property. And the maximum property is basically just the maximum value that the user can select. So if we were to drag this track bar all the way to the right, it would represent 10 since the maximum value is 10. If we were to change this to 100, then when we have this all the way to the far right, it would represent 100. The minimum is just the minimum value that the track bar can represent. So when it's on this left side right here, it represents zero because it's as far left as it can get. If we were to change this to like one or two or something, then it would represent two right now. The next thing that we can mess with is the tick frequency. And that basically means um, how often there will be a tick. Since our maximum is 10 and the tick frequency is one, there'll be 10 ticks because there is a tick for each value. So if we were to change this to 100, we would have 100 ticks because there is one tick for each uh, value. If we were to change this tick, tick frequency to like 5, then we would get 20 ticks because they're for each uh, 5 values doing a single tick. Alright, so in order to get the value that the user has selected in the uh, uh, track bar, we can use the value property. So we're just going to have uh, a message box display the value that the user has selected in the uh, track bar. So we're just going to say message box show here. Uh, trackbar one dot value and this returns uh, an integer so we're gonna have to use the two string method to convert it into a string. Alright so now in the debug here we should have zero right now because the minimum value is zero. Yep, if we're gonna drag this all the way to the far uh, right, we should see 100 because 100 is a maximum value. Yep, and anywhere in between should it be in between zero and 100. Perfect. Another thing that you can do with the trackbar is change the uh, orientation. Right now it's horizontal, meaning it's like across. If we were to make it vertical, we would obviously make it vertical. So it's up and down now. And again, this would just be the bottom, so this is zero, and this is the top, so it'd be 100. So now we should just see zero. Yep, change this up, we should see 100. Anywhere in between should be in between zero and You can also change where the ticks are if you wanted them to be on the, uh, this side. I guess to be on the left, so it's vertical right now. Or if you wanted them to be on the right. Um, or you could just disable the ticks so they're not even there at all. Or you can have them on both sides. I think it looks fine that way, but I guess it's up to you. So that's pretty much all we're going to do for the uh, track bar control. There's not really much to it. Uh, the other control that we're going to be looking at is the numeric up-down. And the numeric up-down basically just only allows you to type numbers in there. And so if we were to just debug here, oh, oops, trackbar one doesn't exist because we deleted it. But alright, so now when we debug, you can only enter numbers in here. It's pretty much a masked text box that only allows you to enter numbers. So we can only enter numbers. If we try to type in letters, it won't even let us. But the nice thing about this is it will just increment it for us, so we can just have it go up by one. But you can change how many it goes up. Um, for example, the increment right now is one, but if you wanted to change that to like ten or something, now it would go up by ten every time we clicked up, and it would decrement by ten every time we uh, put the down right here. So we click up, get ten, click down, go down. And also screw with the minimum and maximum values. The maximum right now is 100. Change that to something else. The minimum right now is zero. We can make that like a negative 10. Maximum is like 1,000. So if we type in like 1,000 right here, look up. Nope, it won't let us go down anymore. Type in negative 10 and try to go down. We can't go down anymore. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, those two controls are pretty basic. There's not really that much to them. Uh, I just think you should know about them. So, yep, see you guys.